This is Kilo, and today I have a cool one for you. I recently took this off of a client's door. They forgot what their code was, didn't want it. It is a GE, what they call a key safe. It's just a common realtor lockbox. You keep the spare key in, put it on the doorknob. Normally you see these on new houses that have just sold, or someone might leave one for their maintenance guy. So. I want to kind of show you guys how this works. I'm going to show you guys how to open it and how to reset the combination. This isn't a picking video or, you know, a safe cracking video. This is simply just a how to for anyone that wants to know how to open this in case you know the code, but don't know the sequence or you have a code, but you want to change it and you don't want to go buy a whole new box. You know what I mean? So what you're going to do is, you know, it's locked up right now. And I've already set this code to AFG, just to make it kind of simple. So the first thing you always do when you come to your, you know, dial, whether it's a safe or a padlock, you're going to cycle it around a few times just to make sure that all the wheels have reset. And then you're going to come back to A. Now, I've already set it to AFG, so... We're going to stop at A anyways, but regardless, you always want to start at whether it's a zero or an A, start there and then kind of cycle your way through. So we'll go ahead and turn it till we get to A, just like that. Then the second letter is F, so we're going to come backwards until we find F, which is there, and we're going to pass him once and come right back to him and then we're going to go forward to g and that lets us open our padlock very very simple just like that once you have it you know set you can basically open and close it all day until you circle the wheel and now it's locked again so one more time i'll show you again we're going to just cycle through everything and then stop at A, and then we're going to go forward to A, backwards until we find F, go one more time, and then forward to G, and he's open. So that is how to pretty much open the majority of these dial style padlocks. It's normally three wheels. So now I'm going to show you guys how to change that combination. So now that you have your padlock opened, or if someone gave it to you like this and it's open, they don't know the code, this is how you can reset it. So right now it's unlocked because we already, you know, entered our code of AFG. So we want to change that and we're going to change it to CAT for cat, just to make it easier to follow for the video. What you're going to do is turn this over and you're going to see these two tabs. You're going to press down and this just pops out. Very simple. And then you're going to have all of these wheels. So the first thing you're going to do is make sure the switch goes upwards to make sure it's not in the way and it's not compressing the spring here. And you're going to take out these wheels. So we're going to take out wheel number one, set him aside. And we're going to take out this first plate and I'm going to use this pick just to help me. So we're going to take him and if you guys want, you can put them next to each other in order so you don't get too confused. We're going to remove this next wheel and these can kind of be a little tricky to get out of here. So I'm just going to kind of drop him out. So that came out with the plate. So we'll set our plate down and our second wheel. And then there is one last wheel way down in there and we'll remove him. So those can all set aside and don't worry if you guys, you know, set these in the wrong order. It doesn't matter. They're all the same. So don't worry about that. Now this is the part that you need to really pay attention to. So you have these three notches here one of them looks a little different these two are connected with this little smiley face 
I'm gonna call it. It looks like a little smiley mouth. And then this one is a little triangle. This is important to note in just a moment. So if you look closely, and I'm gonna to try to get good lighting here, you see this little valley on this first wheel? Each wheel behind it has the same valley. You need to align all of the wheels to have a valley in the same spot as the next. So what we're going to do is take our wheel and just start spinning them until we find our valleys. So I'm trying to do this through a camera with you guys. Makes it a little tough. So we're just gonna keep on aligning and there's two so let me just spin the first guy takes a little bit of time you know it's not too bad so i'm just going to keep spinning those in the back so if you guys can see what i was doing there these two wheels in the back spin a little bit freer than this first one but now if you guys can tell by putting this pick in, you can see that the valleys have all aligned. All three, these notches, if we look, you can see that all of the notches are aligned and that's important as well. But you wanna make sure that no matter what, don't just align the notch because if you align this notch to this notch in the back, you're gonna have an issue. So you have to make sure that this valley is in line. From here, we can go ahead and for the video purpose, I'm gonna align these three notches here to the top just to make this simpler for you guys. So the reason I did that is because this smiley face, these two notches don't really matter too much right now. We're really focused on this triangle. So when I said we were going to make the code uh, CAT, C-A-T, we're going to take our first code wheel and if you look on here, they have all the letters, just like on the dial in the front. We're going to find the letter C. What you're gonna do is, if you look close, there are notches below each letter. You want to align the notch below C to this notch here on this triangle. So we're gonna put C on that triangle. And as you can see, the first time I put him in, he fell in the wrong spot. So that's okay. All we got to do is just pop him back out, realign these notches here, and then try it again. So it's easier to lay this on the desk. I'm just holding this in my hand, but we're going to go ahead and try it one more time. Just align him on there, just like so. So I'm just gonna double check that he fell in and he did. So our first letter is now a C. We're going to take one of our plates here. And as you can see, there's a slope on this side. There's a slope down here. You're going to just align that to that and just drop him in. We're going to take our next wheel, find the letter A and we're going to align A to that triangle notch and make sure he falls in. If you can see, he's right there on the notch. Our next plate just comes right back together, drops right in there, and our last letter is a T. So we're going to find the letter T right there, align T to the notch, just like so. Then we're going to put the back plate back on to make sure nothing falls out when we turn him over. So now that we have set it to CAT, before we put this back into the lockbox, you want to try it. This way, in case something messed up or, you know, one of the notches happened to slip over, you'll know before you put it back together. So we're going to go ahead and cycle through all of the wheels one more time. Make sure that they're good, and then we're going to stop on C. And then we're going to pass A one time. Come back to A. 
and then go forward until we get to T. If it worked correctly, we now have changed our combination and it works. So if that didn't work, what you'll have to do is go back and take all the wheels out and make sure you align those notches. So that is how to open and recombinate the GE style Realtor key safe lockbox. Um, they're called several things. I think they list it on their page as a key safe and not a lockbox. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're new to the channel and this helped and you want to learn more, feel free to subscribe. And I will be working on several more videos pretty soon. I'm editing a whole bunch of them on uh, Master King. I know you guys have been dying to learn that. So hopefully soon I'll have a series come out on Master King. But thank you guys for watching and as always, stay safe and have a nice day.